Howdy my total is always tubular gamers and we're back with you guessed it another ranking video and today we're talking Robocop yes today is the day that we're gonna be talking about all of the Robocop games now Robocop for the unfamiliar you know really popular action movie hero from the 80s he had a couple movies two really awesome movies and well one we don't really like to talk about and then a reboot in the 2010s and Robocop is absolutely no stranger to video games. I mean, a character like Robocop, who is a half-robot, half-man police officer who stops criminals and guns them down in the street, seems pretty ready-made for a video game. Like, how do you mess that up? And over the years, there has been a couple Robocop games. Most of them came out in the 90s during his peak popularity, but after the 90s, we would get a Robocop game on Xbox, and then just very recently, we would get Robocop Rogue City released for all modern platforms. And so with the release of Rogue City, I was like, you know what, let's go back, let's try the older Robocop games, let's rank all of the Robocop games from worst to best, which ones are the best, which ones really capture the spirit, the essence of Robocop, and which ones are just licensed garbage. We'll be looking at all of them, stacking them up against each other, ranking them worst to best, giving each one of them a little review, and if you came here just looking for Rogue City, you know what, I'm gonna do you a favor because I really, really like you, and I'm gonna put a timestamp for when I start talking about Rogue City. Spoiler alert, it's pretty awesome. Now another thing worth bringing up is a couple of these games have different versions and those different versions are actually quite different from each other. For instance, Robocop 2 in arcade is quite different from Robocop 2 on Game Boy. Which is also different from Robocop on NES. What I'm trying to say is that there's different versions of these games and we're not looking at every single version. I have not tried every version of all of these games, I just don't have that kind of time. And so the games we're looking at today are the arcade versions of Robocop 1 and 2, the Super Nintendo version of Robocop 3, the Genesis version of Robocop vs. Terminator, Robocop on Xbox, and Robocop Rogue City. I'll give a shout out to the mobile game from like a decade ago, but I've never tried this. And if you're truly just devastated that I'm not going to be talking about the NES versions of the Robocop games, well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but it's not happening today. You can always watch the AVGN video though. But alright, that's enough with the intro, let's just get right into it. Let me know down below how you're feeling about the list, what you want to see me rank. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. We got the super thanks and the Patreon going on. Any support is greatly, and I truly do mean greatly appreciated, of these games. Which do I think is the worst Robocop game? And here we have Robocop, releasing for the original Xbox in 2003. So in other territories, this game was released on Windows, PS2, and GameCube, but over here in the States, we really only got this game on the Xbox. Now, I remember trying this game back in high school when I was just trying a bunch of shitty games for fun and doing stupid goofy videos on them which are not public now. And yeah, Robocop at the time was called one of the worst first person shooters of all time and all these years later, it still holds that title. It is one of the very worst first person shooters ever made. And of the Robocop games I played, it's easily the worst of them. It was developed by Titus Titus who created such masterpieces like Superman 64, KO the Kangaroo on Game Boy Advance. And yeah, this game really lines up with what you would expect quality-wise from the people who made Superman 64. Now when it comes to this game's premise, it does have an original story. It sees our favorite cyborg police officer in Neo Detroit, and he's responsible for finding the people spreading this new evil drug known as Brain Drain. And the story really just doesn't even really feel like Robocop outside of the setting and physically seeing Robocop, but they don't even have the original actor doing the voice. It's like a really just kind of shitty impersonator. And speaking of shitty, we have the presentation. This game did not look good for 2003. It looks barely above a Nintendo 64 game. In fact, you could convince me probably it's a Nintendo 64 game. I mean, Perfect Dark didn't really look any worse than this. But whatever setup and poor presentation aside, we have the gameplay, which is really where this game just shits the bed, you know? It's always going to be a challenge to make a first-person shooter based off Robocop. I mean, he just kind of walks around slowly gunning everything down in this game. Just absolutely had no idea how to make the game good, fun, challenging, or interesting. It is a very basic, unsatisfying first-person shooter where you slowly walk around just gunning down basically everything that moves. And unlike a certain other Robocop game, this game is the opposite of fun. The weapons are unsatisfying, the gunplay doesn't feel nice, the AI are all over the place, and the difficulty just spikes up and down. See, most of the enemies in this game, all the human enemies, you could just wipe the fucking floor with them. Just like in the movies, you just kind of kill them like instantly, but the moment a non-human enemy shows up oh they're gonna kill you so fast it is like shocking how just this game will spike up in difficulty and then just drop because it's only human enemies and there's no checkpoints so if you die you got to restart the whole mission how fun the shooting and just combat in general is the opposite of satisfying it's just so unfun it's uninteresting it's dull it doesn't feel like it's going anywhere the weapons just do not feel nice it feels like you're underwater you go through some really bland basic uninspired environments the game doesn't really have any set pieces in here 
here there's a couple mini bosses but these are so mind-numbingly boring where you just shoot it over and over and over like this this sucks the game's only a few hours but man does it get repetitive there is just basically no variety here like you can save hostages and you can kind of be a good cop and not kill all the people trying to kill you especially if you like disarm them but it just doesn't really matter this game it's just absolutely rancid, but hey, it is cool to see how a first-person shooter Robocop game should not be done and compare it to what we have now. It's only better from here. But yeah, avoid this game like the plague, let's move on. And so here we have Robocop 3, which came out in 1993. Now, I played the Super Nintendo version, but this game was released on various other platforms. Now, Robocop 3, the movie... Yeah, I'd really rather not talk about that, and this game is based off of said film. But surprisingly, this game is not as bad as you would think. I'm not going to say this game's great or some hidden gem, but it's not total garbage, you know? There's not a lot to it. Most of the game is you just walking left to right slowly, just basically gunning everything down. You might go up some stairs, you might go down some stairs, dare I say you might even go right to left, but for the most part, yeah, it's left to right just shooting absolutely everything, just completely destroying everything with your weapons, you know? You get power-ups to make your weapons even stronger. Robocop's a freaking tank. There is some platforming in this game. It's not great, but there really isn't a lot of it. I mean, Robocop is as stiff as you would expect. The controls are fine for what they are. The shooting does feel half decent and enemies die in a satisfying way. You'll kill plenty of people and destroy plenty of machines in this game. Like you really just absolutely shoot the crap out of everything. In the game, you know, it's actually all right. Look, it's not great. It doesn't have the most memorable level design or interesting boss fights, really in the most interesting gameplay. And the hit detection just straight up is wonky. There's also no checkpoints in these levels so if you die you have to start the whole thing over and the difficulty can be kind of skewed but other than that I mean yeah I'd say it's pretty okay there's even some shmup levels where it's like a top-down shooter and you're flying around blowing stuff up and you know I've certainly played a lot worse on the Super Nintendo. I've certainly heard a lot better though on Super Nintendo. The audio in this game is just terrible. From the sound effects to the music, it, it just sucks. At least the game doesn't look that bad. Look, Robocop 3, it might be based off a pretty crummy movie, but we don't have the crummiest game here, and that's, that's probably a win. And so here we have the original Robocop game coming out in 87, and I played the arcade version, but there are various other versions of this game that are wildly different from this arcade version, especially in quality, you know? The original Robocop Robocop arcade game, especially for the 80s, it's actually pretty solid. The game is a pretty run-of-the-mill run-and-gun shooter from the 80s. The game plays incredibly similar to the developer Data East's previous arcade game known as Bad Dudes vs. Dragon Ninja, which is like as 80s as it gets. But if you've played any classic run-and-gun game or classically styled run-and-gun game, I think you're going to be very familiar with this. I mean, it's pretty easy to understand. You're Robocop and you kill bad guys. You move left to right just shooting absolutely everything and killing seemingly everything as many people as you can. You'll get a couple different weapons, but most of the time you're just walking around with this pistol just blasting fools left and right. You know, they pretty much infinitely spawn, so you'll just be constantly moving, shooting absolutely everything. And this game, you'll just get bombarded by enemies. It's one of those classic 80s games where they just throw everyone at you. And Robocop can take it all. He's a bit of a tank. You know, the game is challenging. I mean, it's an arcade game. Of course, it's going to be challenging to take your money, but it isn't like stupidly challenging. The game tries to have a few memorable moments recreating set pieces from the movie. You even have a boss fight or two and you know, it's alright. There's even these target practice stages where it's in first person and these are a nice distraction, you know. Despite seeming like a generic run and gun shooter, I think it decently captures Robocop's vibe. I mean, Robocop looks pretty good, it's even got the theme, and you kill a lot of people in a very violent fashion. I mean, what else could you need? You know, the Robocop arcade game? Yeah, it's alright. Can't speak on those other versions, but this version? Yeah. It's good. And so here we have Robocop vs. The Terminator, which came out in 93. Now, this game was released for a couple platforms, but the only platform I have any experience with is the Sega Genesis version. And you know, this game, like most of the other Robocop games, is way better than you would expect. It's a pretty decent run-and-gun shooter. And I'd say this is a pretty underrated crossover game. Like, I don't see anybody ever talking about this unless they're talking about Robocop games. I see more people talk about the Alien vs. Predator games than this game. Now, when it comes to the setup, it's actually interesting. Different versions of this game have different setups, but the general gist is Robocop fighting Terminator in Skynet. I mean, that's pretty much what it comes down to, and that's a pretty cool setup. 
and the gameplay really isn't that far off from other Robocop games of the time, with it being a 2D running gun shooter where you move primarily left to right, do some platforming, and just blow everything up. You'll be fighting plenty of Terminators in this game, and you'll get a ton of cool weapons to just blow the shit out of them. Like, you're not just walking around with your pistol the whole game, no. You get some big, badass weapons to blow stuff up, and there actually is a decent amount of platforming here, more than you would expect. And for the most part, it's good fun. I mean, it's just fun to walk around with this big, badass weapon blowing up Terminators. I mean, I mean, who would have thought that's actually fun? Who could have possibly thought that? But here we are where it's actually fun. The controls are all right. They're not super stiff. They're not really unresponsive, but they are definitely heavy and a little clunky. And the platforming can be awkward at times. But again, it's fine for what it is. The weapons are satisfying. Blowing up the Terminators are great. There actually is a decent amount of fan service if you're a fan of Robocop or Terminator. And so for that alone, I can just recommend the game to fans of either property. It isn't stupidly hard. It's got a decent length, taking longer to beat than the Robocop arcade games. And yeah, I enjoyed my time with it. I'd say this game is a little bit of a hidden gem and I have no problem recommending it to anybody who hasn't tried it and likes games of this style. And here we have Robocop 2 which came out in 1990. Now there's various versions of this game of varying quality but the version I decided to play was the arcade version and I was actually really surprised with just how much ass this game actually still kicks. Like this is actually still a pretty solid game. The game is as the title implies based off the Robocop 2 movie and follows various set pieces and beats from said movie. And I think the flow and general pacing of this game is pretty solid. Now this game it plays more like Streets of Rage with guns where you can move freely around you can actually beat the shit out of enemies but of course you got plenty of weapons to kill them with from robocop's iconic pistol to a bunch of other heavy weapons that can just totally decimate these fools like this game is fun it is just a fun time to just blast your way through these levels killing absolutely everybody dead or alive you're coming with me forget alive dead you're not coming with me you're just gonna stay in the ground dead like it is actually a lot of fun here it's satisfying the enemies die in satisfying ways a couple times the game changes perspective and you get to gun more people down like it's never not fun there's even levels where it goes like first person and you're in a vehicle just shooting more stuff like this is great the game looks pretty decent it sounds great as a kick-ass soundtrack it feels nice it's fun to play like i don't really know what else there is to say about it it kicks ass it was the most fun i had with any of the robocop games besides our number one pick and I think it does Robocop decent justice. If you like Robocop and have not tried the arcade version, yeah, I think it's worth trying. I have heard good things about like the Commodore version, even the ZX Spectrum version, the NES version. Uh, yeah, that exists. But the arcade version, man, this is a pretty solid game, but it's not the best Robocop game. And here we have Robocop Rogue City. It should absolutely be no surprise that this is the very best of the Robocop games and one of the best first person shooters I've played in recent memory. Now, I really didn't know what to expect with this game. This developer is kind of a shoddy record, but this game, they nailed it. They totally understood the assignment and just did a bang up job. This is a great game. And I'll just say it immediately for anyone who has remotely any interest in Robocop or good first person shooters, I have just zero problem recommending this game. It really does understand Robocop cop and first person shooters as a whole so the game sees you playing as the titular robocop alex murphy taking on this new crime lord known as the new guy and you know a bunch of other people end up getting involved and yeah robocop's just got to kill a lot of fools the story is surprisingly good it isn't just super random and thrown together and doesn't even make any sense for robocop no it actually makes sense it's well implemented into the movies at least timeline wise taking place after the second one and i think there's actually a pretty good story here robocop's good i like how he progresses i like the other characters there's a decent amount of depth here the villain yeah he's a little one note but i still think he's all right but i think i'm just more surprised that this game has anything decent when it comes to the story or writing or characters like it's actually okay and i don't think really anybody expected that i also didn't expect the presentation to be so solid this game it runs on unreal engine 5 it actually looks pretty good some of the environments look really good the lighting is great a lot of the effects are good the blood splatters great the character models are decent robocop himself looks really good he does have the original voice actor so that's great he's great the other voice acting is pretty hit and miss but for the most part i'd say the presentation is very solid towards the end of the game i was getting some frame rate issues but for the most part it was a very smooth experience and it looked great too so all that's good but how's the gameplay you really want to know about the gameplay oh the gameplay is just excellent here the gameplay is really great it's an incredibly fun satisfying smooth first person shooter that just totally understands what makes a good first person shooter and there's even a few things in this game i didn't expect 
Like, I wasn't sure what to expect when it came to this game's pacing or structure. It's actually interesting. The game isn't open world, but there are a few open environments that you can do side quests in, and you'll go between these open environments pretty frequently, but there's plenty of linear levels in here as well, and linear sequences in these open environments, and I'd say the game seriously is like 50-50 linear and in these open environments, which is very cool. It's cool that there are side missions and you're not just mindlessly killing people the entire time, but speaking of mindlessly killing people, that's what you do in most of the game is just absolutely decimating fools, grinding them into dust. This game completely understands what it means to be Robocop. You are a strong as shit tank that can just absolutely fucking annihilate everyone. You will come across plenty of people in this game, whether they're junkies, armored soldiers, mercenaries, robots, and they all fall the same. You just completely destroy them. Like, I have not had this much fun with a first-person shooter in quite some time. This is some of the very most satisfying gameplay you will find. Like, the gunplay is just great. You know, Robocop's main pistol feels just exceptional. It feels so good to use, but that's not the only weapon you get you can pick up weapons from the enemies and the shotgun in particular this is one of the best feeling shotguns i've ever had in a game it feels so good but all of the weapons are good legit there is not a bad weapon here they all feel amazing they all are great in their own right and offer something different and they all do the same thing they turn these people into fucking dust like these people get blown away blood splatters everywhere it moves down the wall in real time it just has a really high attention to detail the sound effects that you make when you're killing people the crunching of their bones or their head exploding is just so good like this game just gets it it is stupidly satisfying i cannot put over just how satisfying the gunplay is in this game like i have played a lot and i mean a lot of first person shooters but this is seriously one of the most satisfying fps games i've played in forever i just could not put it down the moment i started playing it like i dropped almost everything that i was playing just to play this because i was having so much fun with it but you aren't just totally mindlessly killing the same fools over and over they do mix it up with different enemy types and you might need some different tactics robocop himself can be upgraded and you can give him a bunch of cool abilities like you can speed up and boost all over you actually get bullet time and this is like one of the best bullet times in any game like what and something else i can appreciate is the game isn't stupidly easy but it's not really challenging either i think it actually does find a nice balance i was worried the game was going to be super easy since you just completely annihilate fools but they find ways to make it even slightly challenging i did die a few times i'm not afraid to admit that but i really just didn't expect this level of depth with this game i thought it was going to be a pretty linear mindless shooter but what we have is something more and it's something great and then when you aren't just completely destroying everything there's actually choices you can make in conversations you have like different conversations with characters there's the side quests you actually get to pick sides and it can even affect the ending i i really did not expect this but this is actually half decently implemented and then there's just a shit ton of fan service like there is so much fan service in this game if you like robocop at all you will just be smiling ear to ear like the entire time. Like I was just blown away with how much great fan service there was, how good the shooting was, how nice the game felt, how satisfying it was, how these other mechanics were actually decently well developed, how it wraps things up with a good little story. Now, RoboCop Rogue City is like maybe the most surprisingly great game of 2023. If you haven't tried it by now and you like shooters, really just go play it. I got zero problem recommending this game. Like even if you don't like RoboCop, but you like first person shooters, just go check it out. If, if you've seen something on here that looks interesting, I highly recommend it. And that's really it. I just wanted to come in here and gush about Rogue City for five to 10 minutes, but it was actually pretty cool to talk about the other Robocop games. You know, outside of the Xbox game, they all are surprisingly decent to good. I'd buy all of them for a dollar. And you know what? That's going to be our code where if you made it to the end of the video, you can tell me that you'd buy that for a dollar. And you'll get a little heart from me. But yeah, that's it for today. Hope you have a good night, weekend, holiday, whatever the closest thing is to you. Bye-bye now.